the measurement of geometric density we need the weight of the sample that uh, uh, we can measure by uh, weighing balance and we need the volume of this sample and to measure the volume of this sample we have we need to measure the diameter of this sample and that the measurement of this diameter of the sample uh, vernier calipers can be used and i place this sample in between in this jaw and the diameter of the sample is showing 12.01 mm yeah. so and uh, measure this diameter at different position at least 3 to 4 times and take the average this is the screw gauge which is used for the measurement of thickness of this material and before doing the experiment match this line 0 0 line with this uh, left hand line and it should be and it should be shown here 0 0 and open open this portion and place your sample here very gently and measure your thickness so here the thickness value is 1.2077 mm and take this measurement at different position at least 3 to 4 times and take the average here we are going to show how to measure or how to calculate the geometric density of a ceramic material what is geometric density the geometric density can be defined by this formula rho equal to mass by volume rho is the geometric density of the material and mass of the material and volume of the material and the unit of geometric density is gram per centimeter cube here we are going to show uh, a practical approach how to calculate the geometric density using a um, cylindrical pellet of a ceramic material here we are showing a uh, typical Uh, just cylindrical pellet uh, it has certain diameter and it has also certain thickness here so the diameter and thickness can be measured by uh, slide calipers or vernier calipers and screw gauge respectively so and the volume can be measured by simply using weighing balance and volume of a cylinder is very well known formula so v equal to pi r square h so the r the radius we can easily get uh, using slide calipers or vernier calipers and h uh, we can get using a just screw gauge now here we have uh, recorded we or noted down some data some data point uh, the sample id let's say ab2 the sample may be anything and uh, we have two pellet pellet 1 and pellet 2 and uh, for each measurement we have three data set that means for pellet 1 and uh, there are three diameter value and three thickness value so the data set uh, originally taken in mm and here we have mm, converted that data from mm to centimeter uh, here and to convert the this data in mm to centimeter just multiply these value with 0.1 and 
and similarly here we also converted the thickness data from mm to centimeter here is the volume how we have calculate the volume of a cylinder is pi r square h the pi value is 3.14 and here is the d2 means the diameter divided by 2 so d2 divided by 2 so we will get the radius of the sample that is r to the power h so how we have calculate here we are going to show here so now just delete just delete this value okay i am showing here how to do it just delete all these value here okay so how to get so volume pi value is 3.141 cross r square here is the diameter in centimeter divided by 2 to get radius to the power that means r square cross h h means here is thickness in centimeter so this is the average volume sorry not the average this is the volume of this data set volume of this data set now just bottom down here so we get the corresponding volume of this corresponding data set now we are doing average of this data set how to average just type here a v e r a so click here average now we are going to average only three data set value just select here and here so now first bracket close this is the average volume of the pellet one and similarly we can do here sorry we are missing something uh, average a v e r a this is average so this is the average volume of the pellet 2 and the weight of pellet 1 0. 4445 and pellet of uh, uh, and the weight of pellet to 0 0.445 so the geometric density is d uh, rho equal to mass here mass is weight divide divided by the volume so this is the volume of pellet one the unit is gram per centimeter cube and similarly the way divided by volume enter so this is the volume of pellet 2 so in this way we can easily calculate the geometric density of a of a ceramic material or of a any sample not only the ceramic material and we can also uh, determine the density of metals polymer etc thank you thank you